Good morning, guys! I'm in Hamburg, Germany. Well, you must know that it's very special for me to be here because I've been wanting to visit the city for years now. I love Germany and the German culture. I lived in Germany already for one year in the south, in Freiburg. But I'm so fascinated by northern cities and Hamburg. I've always had this um, idea. I, I, I really have an ideal picture of Hamburg. Um, and it's harbor, you know, like cold city, gray city with the harbor, big ships. Also, there's this Italian singer, music writer that I love, which is Vinicio Capostella, and he wrote a song about Hamburg. I think he lived here for some years during his childhood, if I remember right. So yeah, like being here is, it really means something to me. And this host of mine, Frank, and today he had to go out in the sea in an island um, very early in the morning. So yesterday when I came home at 11.30 p.m. By the way, don't do that, guys. It was way too late and it was a bit scary walking from the bus stop to come here. I'm finally in Hamburg. This is the station I just dropped off of the bus. And we had controls from the... Dogana Zoll, I don't know in English how it's called, because we came from Amsterdam where some kind of drugs are legal, so they were asking us many questions and they had dogs, you know, all the stuff. Honestly, during this journey I worked all the time, like eight hours I just worked. We didn't do any break, usually Flixbus does breaks every I don't know, two, three hours. This time it was eight hours all in one piece. So it was a bit exhausting. I was very productive, so I'm very happy, but now I'm very tired as well. It's almost 11 in the evening. I have a Frank waiting for me at home. He lives like half an hour by bus from here. I'm waiting for the bus. Here it comes. Usually coming at night in a new place with a new host is something I tend to avoid um, But this time it was an exception, so I'm risking a little bit, but uh, Frank seems a very nice man uh, We have been texting quite a bit since one or two weeks. I'm quite calm. I'm, I'm not worried Eight minutes walking now Some facts about Frank. He lives on the harbor of Hamburg. He's a sailor and a filmmaker and he's an activist for to save the oceans and also he can play the piano and he's 45. So I guess he has a pretty interesting profile. Can't wait to meet him. I, I'm, I don't want to say that the area here is sketchy it's just that there's no one around, no one, and it's very dark. And I'm crossing, it's not a park, but there are some gardens. I don't know, I can't wait to arrive home, let's say that. I don't know if you can see anything, but it's very nice here. I can hear the sea. I think you are very close to the harbor now. Guys, this place is very nice, but it's creepy because there's no one around. Like no one, no person, no human being. I found it finally. It took me a while actually. Hello. I think he was already sleeping in bed and he woke up to open the door for me and I met him for five minutes because then I told him please go to bed but in those 
three minutes that we met, he gave me such good vibes and he just showed me his apartment and I felt immediately like home. He asked me if I needed something, if I was hungry. I told him that I was a little bit hungry because I ate my dinner at 5 p.m. and he gave me a couple of slices of good German bread, very rich, with some butter and he had already prepared for me this beautiful futon in his living room with clean sheets and I, I really felt amazing and today he doesn't even know me yet and he left me the key to his apartment and probably he's gonna be away in the sea for until tomorrow and he just told me you can stay in my apartment don't worry he told me to use everything in the kitchen to eat whatever i want when i meet a person like this my hope in humanity increases so much Look at the view that he has. Like, I, I, I was telling you about this idea that I have of Hamburg, of a harbor city, you know? And he lives on the harbor. And he was the one who offered me to stay at his place, not the opposite. So I guess the universe sent him to me. To be honest, it was since a couple of weeks I wasn't having a quiet time like in a place by myself. So I'm really enjoying this today, this quietness and also the fact that I'm alone. I can't wait to, to meet Frank, but at the same time I'm not super sorry that I have one day to spend alone because, you know, doing couch surfing you are constantly surrounded by people. And also to whomever addresses me to tell to ask me don't you feel lonely by traveling all alone all by yourself actually not <laughs> I am a person who is very comfortable being alone and I must say that doing couch surfing all the time I crave more loneliness than company if you know what I mean but I love having company as well, if it's quality company. Okay, now it's time to go. It's noon. I have to get going because I have no Wi-Fi here at, mo at the moment. And I need to upload a video. So I'm gonna head out and try go to every library I can to find a good internet connection. Entschuldigung, ich bin nur hier in Hamburg zu Besuch und ich suche gerade ein WLAN. Äh, WLAN? Ich weiß, dass es ein bisschen komisch ist. Ja, ich habe gesehen auf Google, dass es eine Bibliothek hier gibt. Ah, es tut mir leid. Also wir, das steht nicht für den öffentlichen, also zum, okay. zum, es tut mir leid. Okay. Aber hier, also... Hier wissen Sie nicht. Es tut mir leid. Okay, kein Problem. Okay. <lacht> Dankeschön, auf Wiedersehen. Entschuldigung. 
Ähm, ich bin hier nur zu Besuch und ich suche gerade im WLAN. Also WLAN? WLAN Café oder eine Bibliothek. Ich würde Richtung Landungsbrücken laufen oder Richtung Reeperbahn und da auf einem der Cafés probieren. Okay, super. Danke schön. Yeah. No, it even started raining. I have no umbrella, of course. Uh, people keep telling me to go to the city center, but of course in the city center there are, there are many Wi-Fi cafes. But it's more than half an hour walking from here and come on, I mean, I, I don't want to give up. It's full of Wi-Fi connections here. Like the world is full of Wi-Fi connections. Someone has to be nice to me and let me use this for half an hour. Hello! Entschuldigung, habt ihr ein WLAN hier? Äh, nee. Kein WLAN, okay. Wissen Sie, ob ich etwas... In Aber hier gegenüber dem Café, da haben wir das bestimmt. Zum Beispiel, das oh, okay. Feines. Ja, so okay, so super. Vielen Dank. Ja. Cool, danke. Hallo. WLAN? Wir haben kein etwas? WLAN. Ah, oh, okay. Ihr auch nicht. Nein. Ähm, also du musst einfach nur diese Straße hier gerade ausmachen. Okay. Kommt an der Ecke. Café Mai. Café Mai. Vielen Dank. Gerne. Tschüss. She sent me to, to another cafe at 15 minutes by walking from here. I don't know if I should go. Because this is the third place someone suggested me and they say, oh, for sure they have VLAN there. And they have not. Entschuldigung, ja. uh, wohnt ihr hier? Nein, nein, nein ich wohne hier. Oh, okay. Sorry. Hallo. Hi. Hm, richtig gut. Ich habe eine Frage. Und WLAN habe ich. WLAN haben Sie? Hab ich. Und kann ich mal probieren? Ja, natürlich. Wenn es funktioniert? Ja? Ja, natürlich. Okay, super, danke. Attempt failed again. So we spent maybe 20 minutes trying to figure out the password because the password she was giving me was not functioning. And in the end, like she was trying so many times. And in the end, I just gave up and I thanked her, but went away. Now I'm trying this other place. <laughs> 